On your mark, get set, and go! Dr. Scott Acton. And I'm John. Welcome to the Physics and the Pinewood Derby. 29 years ago, in the summer of 1976, I was playing with a set of dominoes. My Uncle Howard was there with me, and he asked me some really tough questions. He said, Scott, what would happen if we were to push the dominoes closer together? Would they fall faster or slower? What would happen if we were to spread them further apart? Which way is the fastest? I remember that we did some really fun experiments to find out which was the fastest. Then Howard said three words to me that changed my life forever. He said, that's physics, Scott. And I said, physics? And he said, yes, this is the kind of thing that a physicist does for a living. And I remember thinking, you mean to tell me that there's a job you can get where you get to do this kind of stuff all day long and get paid? I made up my mind right then and there that I was going to be a physicist when I grew up. And so here we are. Now dads, I'm opening with this story because the Pinewood Derby is a wonderful opportunity to get your son interested in math and physics. So I really recommend that you make this a big project. Really take it seriously. And boys, you do everything you can to pay attention to what we talk about today. Now, I know adults are always telling you to pay attention, but you know what? Today, you've really got to do it. Maybe you're not very, very interested in, in math and physics. Maybe you think they're kind of boring. Maybe you're already getting bored with this video. That's okay, I get bored pretty easily too. So let me ask you something else then. How do you feel about winning? How would you like to take the first place trophy in your pack year after year? Well, my son's cars have consistently taken first at the pack level, the district level races, and the district grand championship races. We quit entering the cars because, quite honestly, we ran out of places to put the trophies. The reason we've been able to win so much is that we understand physics. Well, if you want to win, you're gonna to need to know something about physics too. Now, I wanna warn you boys, we're gonna talk about some things today that you won't understand, but that's okay. You see, nobody understands everything, and I'm sure you're going to pick up enough information to build a really fast Pinewood Derby car. And at the end of each section, I'll summarize the important points that you need to remember. In this video, we're gonna talk about several things that affect the speed of any Pinewood Derby race car. We'll talk about the role of chance and luck in a race the weight of the car, the effects of wind resistance, something called the center of mass, and the moment of inertia. We'll talk about the weight of the wheels and the effects of nail preparation and lubrication. We'll talk about the gap between the wheels and the car body and the lifetime of the wheels. We'll also talk about how scientists use tools like computers and the scientific method to solve problems. We'll test our ideas by running cars down this Pinewood Derby racetrack. We'll also look at some fun projects that you can do at home to help you understand certain topics in physics. And from time to time, I'll throw in just a little extra about physics. After we know what it takes to make a car go fast, we'll move on over to the workshop and talk about how to build a winning car. Finally, we'll talk about how to build a really simple Pinewood Derby racetrack that you can use to test your cars before the race competition. Are you ready? Let's go. 